Today, we are going to be unboxing this beautiful Sun Gold Power 8 kilowatt 48 volt split phase solar inverter charger from, like I already said, Sun Gold Power. I am so excited for this inverter. We have had it installed now for about two weeks. And I can't wait to give you guys an update on it. It's so magical. I even wore a matching top so I could match the inverter. Because us cool girls, we got to coordinate. And here you can see I'm showing off the foam and giving ooh ahs for the foam. But I'm also showing you everything that came in this package. It comes with a manual, some mounting hardware, and a Wi-Fi communication device so you can have everything conveniently on your phone and be able to monitor everything, which is super convenient. And it allows us to be able to monitor our system completely when we're not home. When I tell you I've had dreams about having this inverter, I've had dreams about having this inverter. And I'm so thankful that she's finally here with me and she's going to make my life so much better. I cannot wait. Everything I'm about to show you is that Wi-Fi communication device I was just talking about. And you'll see it be hooked up at the end. But that's all goes to that little Madudag babab thing. Also, another fun fact is I smashed my foot on this inverter and couldn't walk for two days. So that was lovely. It's very heavy. Do not smash your foot on it because you will be feeling it. It, it didn't move. I little, It just didn't move. I hit it so hard and yeah. So yeah, there's your warning of this is heavy. I couldn't lift it. You might want to... You can probably lift it, but I definitely couldn't. Here she is, all unboxed and beautiful. Like, I just love this color. It's just such a good color. And we actually had to uh, rewire some of our old solar outside to be able to hook this up. So that's what I'm doing here is just a little quick rewirage. After that, I moved inside to get our old charge controller and inverter unhooked. This charge controller is the Renogy Rover, as you can see right there. And I'm just uh, taking all of these panel wires out and getting her out of here. Our old inverter was the Sun Gold 6000 watt, and we loved it. That's why we wanted to upgrade so badly to this one that was just like an all-in-one. We wouldn't have to have that Renogy charge controller anymore, and we could just have everything all in one. Um, again, very heavy. You're going to need um, muscles to lift this. Also installing this, um, because we have to turn off of our power, you know, we live off-grid, um, we got hot, really, really hot. It got hot in there because, you know, we had to turn off the air. And, yeah, so this was a very hot job. And here we are just trying to figure out how we want to do this because we keep all of our solar down in our lower cabinet. So these wires were, like, a little too short, but we made it work. We're going to um, order longer ones, but we just needed to get this hooked up so we could get the air going because we'd already started this process um and we keep our solar in our lower kitchen cabinets so it's hidden and so that's why we didn't hang it on the wall at eye level you definitely should probably hang it on the wall um at your eye height so you can adjust and everything easily this is still convenient for us um for now and we will eventually Probably hanging on the wall later at some point, but we just needed to get this installed. As you can see, we're just getting those battery wires hooked up in there. Those were the easiest ones to probably put in there. All the other ones were more difficult and like trying to jam up in there. We had to like cut some off. So, but here we are getting those battery wires in nice and snug. Uh, then we're moving on to the ground wire, just getting that in. And these little slots, you just have to, like, work them up in there. Um, that was a difficult 
for me. Trent is just trying to work it in there. That's what she said. But yeah, we got it in. Once you got it in, you just want to tighten down your um, little connector screw. So that's what we're doing here. Living in a yurt, we don't have a lot of space for solar equipment. And we have just our small shed outside and it gets very hot in the desert. So we want to keep everything cool, but didn't want to have like a bunch of visible solar equipment everywhere. So that's why I opted to give up my uh, lower kitchen cabinets to disguise them. And um, that's why they're there. And then here... You can see we're putting in our L1, our L2, and our neutral wires. Um, these were very tight holes, no pun intended. But we um, got all of those in there and then got them nice and tightened down. This, was on, this is honestly the part that took the longest, was just trying to get those um, wires in those uh, little slots. But it, this was very easy to install because we already have our solar already hooked up and everything and here i am just switching those batteries back on and we're gonna see if um we got some power here turning her on and there she goes look at her turning on for the first time we did everything right yay this is always the most exciting part seeing that you did do everything right and you did not shock yourself so that's amazing um like i said we've had this installed um for a couple weeks now i wanted to see how it did how we liked it what we were feeling like with it and it we're doing pretty good like i mean so far so good we have um a better reading on um our phones and it's just way more convenient this has a lot more settings to go through where you can like figure out what exactly your error might be or what a code it's giving like you'll see here in a second like there's a whole book and all these different um settings for it and it's very convenient really amazing it works really well it's very quiet i don't really notice any sound that and I do live in a tiny home. Like I said, I live in a yurt. So this thing's very quiet. And I'm impressed. I mean, I absolutely love it so far. As you can see, here's all the different modes, all the different settings. And then in the manual, it will give you a number. And you just go find that number. And it'll tell you what it is. So that's really cool. Um, it's just very, very high tech compared to our old one, I would say. Fancy. It tells me like how many trees I've saved already. And it just makes me feel good looking at it and going into the app and seeing all the power I'm making from the sun. And so far, so good. Like I said, we love it. Um, if you're thinking about getting one, definitely check out Sun Gold Power this thing is amazing. Our old inverter from them was amazing too. That's why we wanted to upgrade and actually go for it. So big shout out to Sun Gold Power. We love this product. Thank you so much. Um, as you can see, like here's the little um, descriptions and codes. It's not just like one sentence. It actually like gives you a full description of like what these codes and everything mean. So that's really nice. So far, my favorite thing about it is that little Wi-Fi module that came with it and all of the details it gives you in the app and everything. I just didn't have that before. So I really feel like I'm in like the lap of luxury when I'm like looking at all the power and everything in the app and it's like monitoring it so nicely. And here you can see this little Wi-Fi module. It's so like simple and little and it just plugs in and that's it. And then we just mounted it and we have full access to knowing what's going on with our solar, and we absolutely love it. I highly recommend you check them out. We're going to do an update on this inverter as well and go into more detail about it, so stay tuned for those future videos. 
and definitely give Sun Girl Power a little look-see, a little check out because it's amazing. I highly recommend this product. I was about to say it's very demurtsy, so I'll leave it at that.